All right, welcome back to the Wizard 101 Myth Monstrology playthrough. This is episode 19.1. Uh, anytime that it's not a, a, I guess, a direct number, anytime it's got a decimal or anything, it's going to be a farming run, just going to be doing some stuff on the side. There was some Halloween holiday stuff I wanted to do as far as the three dungeons quest lines, wrap up some stuff, and just kind of farm for some stuff on stream. Uh, but yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and get on into it. Uh, did some gardening today, uh, a little bit earlier. My evil magma pea finally, uh, went elder, so I've got one mega snap, which is cool. Uh, these guys really need the, uh, 24 hour thing. I'm wasting too much energy on that, even though I'm wasting energy by not using it. But yeah, finally decided to get the likes for... Evil Magma P, uh, which is dumb. I should have done that way earlier. Ooh, looks like I got a notification. Somebody on Uber just tipped me. Oh, there it is. 40, 60. Oh, wow. So I would have made just under 40 bucks on Uber. And 22, so that's 50. Yeah, 60 even. Would have made 70, but uh, one of the restaurants that I was doing an order for didn't have the food ready. It was two items. There's no reason the food should not have been ready. And they just decided to request a driver anyway. They probably automated the system to do it uh, because restaurants are lazy and don't care. And that's why they get treated the way that they do by drivers. There is no reason for a professional establishment like that who hires a bunch of high school kids who are obviously capable of performing at a high level to be so underwhelming. But anyway, enough of that. Uh, not going to talk to Merle Ambrose. I did some Jade Oni farming with uh, just some random people that I met uh, late last night. I was doing some stuff and uh, ended up just doing it off stream because I was just tired, had a bit of a headache from some stuff I was doing. Farmed uh, Yukito quite a little bit. Uh, did some stuff with the Plague Oni. Uh, didn't get the boots that I was after. I at least want to get get some of the Stitch Gear for Myth. But yeah, I got a bunch of different like Stitch Gear for different schools. So uh, whenever that happens, uh, yeah, it'll it'll be a it'll be a fun time for all of those that I've already played on once before. But let's see, you got some wands. I need to create a gear bank. I don't know if I actually have that recipe. Oh, I do. Gear vault. Yeah, I could make that. Might as well go make one of those right now. Do I already have one, like, in my regular home? I do not, so I can make two. Um. Let's see. I haven't done anything with pets because, you know, this guy, super good stats, barely saw that, uh, or decently good stats. Fairy is probably the, my least favorite talent, mostly because it took up the spot for Healing Current, which is a way better spell. Um, let's see what all I can sell. I got this from the Jade Oni, little happy pumpkin mask. I'm not going to farm for all of that stuff, all of the, what do you call it, the holiday... Um, gear and whatnot. Like, I just kind of collect that over time. And even then, I don't even use it the majority of the time. I usually just stitch with stitch gear or something. Uh, I got a bunch of wind windswept trees from when I was farming Kotos. Some, some duels. Uh, I don't know if I can complete one of those level 40 ones. I might be able to, actually. Some master duel... It should only be level 40. I might do that just to mess around. But let's see. I need reinforced crate, flawless sapphire. Yeah, everything I can get here in Wizard City. Uh, maybe not the flawless sapphire, but even then, I just buy it from somewhere else. I don't know why I don't have my mounts on. Kristen Lifehammer. I don't know who that is. At least I don't remember. He's probably some dude I was doing, uh... 
uh, what is it called? I was doing Mount Olympus with. He's, what, level 45? Oh, uh, this is a deck shopkeeper, not the housing shopkeepers. I don't know why I went in there. But yeah, had a pretty good day. Mostly slept in till about, like, almost 11. It was like 10.30 when I finally got up. Uh, let's see. Reinforced. Great. Is it not going to be in this one? Might be in this one. There it is. Buy two of those. I got 60k gold. Only did a little bit of farming, so everything is selling for like a thousand to seven hundred gold. So that's nice. Uh, it's been a while since I did the dailies. I wonder if I can find something real quick. All right. So what was I doing originally? I was crafting gear vaults. More specifically, I'm crafting two gear vaults. One for my stuff and one for stuff I'll get in the future for other schools. So I need 20 pixies and 50 reshuffles. That might cost like 50,000 gold. Thousand, yeah. Quite the investment. Uh I don't think I got all of those that I needed, actually. Well, back to the czar to sell some stuff. Well, that's one thing I can do on stream if I can't get this immediately. Yeah. Some lame little bowler hat thing. Aether. Not going to need that. I'm going to get that later on. Gold is more important. For me right now. Might as well. I'm not going to need them. At the very least, I'll be playing long enough that by the time I need them, I'll have more. Like you allow you allow us to sell one of each at like uh, Prospect or Zeke and stuff like this, but when it comes to the bazaar, why does it why does this require like you know sell one yes sell one yes just let me just sell 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 doesn't make a lick of sense. Wow, it didn't even sell for the full amount. It sold for, like, slightly more than half. That's lame. Like, yeah, we're going to show you a price, and then we're not going to honor it. Springs, I can transmute those from other stuff if I need. Not gonna need that till Celestia, that's a while's away. Just because I'm gonna take forever getting anywhere. Alright, what do I got? 23,000? Go back for that. And see how many we can get. I think it said I had eight fairies. So I just need 12 more. Yeah, eight. Come on. Well, 39. Nice. And then all I need now are 50 Flawless Sapphires. That could go either way. Those might be, like, super cheap. 
or uh, somewhat expensive. You go to Mushu. Oh, here he is. Flawless Sapphire. I need 50 of those. So we got, yeah, enough for everything here. Oh, I actually need, like, double the sandstone that I currently have. Hmm. Didn't think about that. But that's fine. For the moment, this will just be, like, for the all the other crap. There is this one. Yeah, so I need 20 sandstone. I might be able to snipe that from the bazaar, but I'm going to need some gold. Gold is my main issue right now. So, as soon as it... Oh my god, what is it loading here? What? No, quit loading stuff like that. I, I didn't ask you to load any of that. Like, just let me do my stuff. Like, there should be a cancel load this random resource that takes time out of my day. Alright, well, since I can't physically put anything down... Dude, that's annoying. Like, just let me cancel whatever crap you people have going on. I don't care... why... That's getting done. It's I don't want that going on on my computer right now. I'm busy. Some of those in there. I'm going to put all the myth-related stuff away. Haha, uh -huh, joke's on me. I didn't get the robot I was firing for. Um, I think I got a pair of boots, maybe? Or was it just the hats? Huh. Yeah, I got a bunch of stuff for other schools. Alright, so, let's see, probably start throw up with the Tomb of the Beguiler, uh, since I'm finally not a squishy, squishy guy at the moment. Do that. Two of those. I might throw in, like, one spider. Uh, well, I'll do it at a case-by-case -case basis, actually. Both of those. Thought another frog. Watch it. The moment that I leave my house, it's gonna finally finish updating stuff. Go away. I don't want you on my computer. Stupid little thing popping up telling me my keyframes are out of line even though they are at it's the recommended number two setting. Like, come on. Uh, let's see, got that, uh, I'm not talking to that dude in a wheelchair because emotes are trash in this game. It's like, oh yeah, you guys want emotes? Hey, we're, we're cool, we're hip, but also we're going to require you to utilize the energy resource that could be used on multiple different other things just to look cool whenever you cast, cantrips are so lame. Like, the devs really just wasted their time on that one. Like, I hate to be that guy, but nobody says, hey, look at this cantrip that I got. No, people are like, oh, that costs energy? That valuable, valuable commodity and resource? Nope. Uh, Alright, so... It will probably take an experienced group to figure out what's going on in there and help my friends. Yeah. That, that was basically, like, one of the two lines he said, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah, it will probably blah blah blah. Yeah, forget that nerd. I came here for the Manders. Alright, Jaha. James? James? Hey, ja James, what, what's going on? Oh, brave spellcaster. Please help me. I'm on a mission to rescue my friends. We were separated and I can't find them. Of course you were. I can't get past the gate that the dreadful Sir Ket set up. 
If you could get rid of Saket, I could sneak by and continue to search for my brothers. Now hold up, you just said you couldn't get past the gate that Saket set up. You never said anything about having to defeat Saket or that you were going to. You're just getting me to do your bidding. He even walks away. Uh, so yeah, codes posted here uh, on these little tiles. It's bird, bug. I don't believe it's in any particular order. Bird, bug, croc, and moon. And of course, they're going to have stuff randomly lit up, so I have to go and get rid of it. Pretty sure that should be it. Open up. You hear the blood curdling noise of a giant spider growing in the distance. Of course I do. Um I might summon one minion just in case I need it. Actually. Get the second frog. We'll do that. Get rid of those. And I shall do. Ah, uh, what is it called? Go on a second one of those. We'll go for it. Where is my spider animus? Two of those, two of those, and a second one of these, and then a minion. Oh, that's the wrong one. I thought that was a minotaur minion for a second. Where is, where is this? It's supposed to be like, okay, one to four pips. It's not actually in the four pip section like, like I was thinking it was. Uh, let's see. I think I'm going to go for an undead frog. And then I'll just hit the boss uh, after this. Guys are like 614. Yeah, that's fine. I can probably blade up a little bit and then frog. I might. I think it's the Quran and Keepers. Let me check. Third 101. Quran and Keeper. Yeah, so the entire reason I wanted to do this dungeon is because of this guy. He is called the Quran and Keeper, and he is undead, and you can he's not like a ghostly see-through type deal. You can actually like see him. He physically exists, even though he's technically undead. It's great. And he's not even an undead-looking croc. He looks like a regular crocodile for some reason. It's very odd why they... And then these guys, the Quran and Harbingers, are not undead. Which is even more confusing. I'm not going to focus on the spider as much as I am uh, throwing out a frog to capture that one dude. Mostly because I want them for a house guest. My King Parsley farm is getting almost getting there. I've gotten... A couple of seeds, but once I, uh, once I, uh, final harvest, I'll have some, potentially some Ultra King Parsleys, and then some, what do you call them, uh, regular King Parsleys, and then they'll those will just start multiplying like crazy as well, which will be super great. Uh, I can, just build up some gold from there, and then. I don't want to go out of my way to start farming Mega Snacks yet. I've got a decent enough pet to get me through everything. And I am kind of hurting on gold, so... It just makes more sense to wait for the moment. Am I not going first? I thought I was going first. I'm not paying attention. Okay, I am going first. Is that a regular pet? No, it's not. Okay, um... That's the case. Am I played up again? I'm not worried about dying. Mostly because I've got probably almost double the same, du almost double the health that I had last time I was doing this. Last time, oh, what level was I? I was like level oh, 
sucks. That re oh, well, actually, never mind. That doesn't suck. Screw that guy. I'm, I don't care what he is. I don't care what what happens to him. I'm only worried about the last guy. I'm capturing him. I love the fact that my pet is just not healing me. It's like one of, one of the main features of having this pet is for it to heal and it just doesn't. So it's definitely doing over 400. Oh, awesome. Alright, there we go. Three Quran and Keeper, and then there's some Circuit. Um, that's all just going to be cell fodder. Are there any health wisps? Wisps? I want to see. There's one right behind a crocodilly. That yeah, should keep me alive. And then do the same thing here, except I can get rid of the spider animus because it's trash and not useful in any way. Get rid of the cyclops too. Who dares to slay oh. That spider was the favored pet of Ngozi the Beguiler. Yeah, yeah, whatever. Dearly for such insolence. You can... no, I probably shouldn't say that. You can go suck a fat one, you big nerd. I think triple buff was enough to get like 900. I only need 600 though, so I might just double buff. Come on, pet. Show up to work. I know it's the weekend, but you're supposed to be on call. Get rid of him. Get rid of that. Regular blade. That's kind of useless to have. Right, let's see. There we go. Um, I think I'm going to blade one more time. Just because I like the idea of just one-shotting them all. I might be able to one-shot this dude if he doesn't debuff or shield of any kind. Come on, pet. Actually, if that's going to be the case, how much health does he have? 2,000? Uh, I might as well throw up another one, try and get my... Uh, try and get my pet to heal me a little bit. If not, I'm just killing myself for no reason, but I can go grab potions. It's fine. It's just the fact that I need... I wasn't able to survive and kill these guys last time. However, right now, I'm doing, doing pretty good. I'm taking a bit of damage, but I'm still doing pretty good. be doing even better if my pet would like get on it um let's see that's gonna take up the majority of my pips i think i got two no that's just one. No, oh, that is two it's a number of pips to be disclosed at a later date uh how is obs going yep mike is going fine and then there's this guy um Another frog might kill him. I changed the text size. Cat balloon size. Better heal me while I'm not looking. You suck. Chat, chat text size. Go medium. Yeah, that's perfectly fine. Oh, yeah, that's right. I forget. King's Isle. 
doesn't know how to do their math. So I'm going to get pips less than 25% of the t or power pips less than 25% of the time. Those guys are good. I'll throw out a Minotaur. Yay! Alright, so what do we get? Bunch of crap. Doesn't matter. Moving on. Oh, hey, look. What do you need? Thank you for getting me past Sir Kett. Now I need help finding my two brothers. I fear they have been captured and are being held on this level. Of course they are. And without any further explanation, he's just gonna walk away. Alright. So we got Sun... Yeah, Snake, Sun... Moon. I'm going to come back for these guys here in a second. I'm going to try and find some healing orbs. There's one. Two. I'll grab that on the way back. These guys are actually quite strong minions. It's too sad that I didn't have them uh, whenever I was doing, like, later Crocotopia Marleybone. So you got Sun, Moon, and something else? I forgot. Wanting that, so it's probably not snake. Is it bug or tree? We're gonna go for tree. Nope. Not tree. It's definitely sun, moon, and something. Was it bug? Probably gonna be the last one I checked. Alright. And these guys count as undead. I'm going to wait to start fighting these guys. Try and get... Because you can get three of these guys in any given fight, so... So we got Snake, Moon, and Sun. Yeah, that's exactly what I did the first time. Why didn't it work? Like, the last one proved this wasn't a combination thing. And they're not in any particular order. There's even less of an order to it this time. I love these janky game mechanics. Is it just like not registering until I close everything out? Like what? What the heck is going on? Is there supposed to be another one that I'm just not? I just didn't notice. If that's the case, I'm just going to brute force guess it. King Zhao can eat my ass. Oh. Alright. Who are you? I was about to deliver this pitiful manda to the master. So if you are here to rescue this slimy little trespasser, think again. Yeah, yeah, whatever. I'm going to get rid of the minion and one minotaur. Throw in one more of these. Yeah, we should be good. Come on, there we go. Got that. Throw this on. How much do they have? They have a thousand health or like almost seven hundred. Oh, it was almost seven hundred. Okay, so I'm not going to get any boost, so a double blade should do roughly 600. However, there is a chance that I don't kill, so I might end up blading another. Oh, that's perfect. Use that, throw out a frog, minotaur the boss, and walk away having completed this dungeon. Let's see. Should be a relatively easy fight now that I'm not level like 15. What level was I? Because I know it would have been at the end of Crocotopia before I even started Marleybone. 
yeah, I would have had to have been level like 15 or 16. Maybe. Uh, throw this guy out. It's a triple buff frog that should do the do enough. And then I can go start collecting all these croco mummies that oh actually I don't even know if I want to collect uh, collect these guys. I've already got a bunch of croco mummies from all the membership uh, benefits. Yeah. It's it, it's been too long. This this dungeon is no longer relevant to my plans. Just kind of a extra little quest I had picked up and just was not capable of doing. Uh, seven hundred. I'm gonna do one blade just because. Is there anything else I need in Crocotopia, or was it just this? I think it was just this. Wand hit him if he doesn't die. Man, yeah, no, this is just going to be a boring stream. Just going to be finishing up some stuff. I might do Kemba Lung. That's not a bad idea. I was supposed to do it at, like, level 25. So. Oh, hey, uh. Rahe? Rahe? Please, save my brother. He's being taken to be charmed by Ngozi the Beguiler. The evil croc is turning all Manders into charm slaves. Hurry! Right. If that's the case, I feel like this dungeon should have played a very vital part in the main storyline. That's probably what they intended on. Like, but it just didn't really fit within the confines of the, the overall original vanilla narrative. Uh, so all these need to be fire. Because, of course, they do. Oh, that would have sucked. Grab some health while I'm at it. So, you are the one who bested Atta. Your luck is about to run out with me. And afterwards, this manda will still be taken to Ngozi the Beguiler. Ha. Just in case you needed to know who the bad guy really was. Uh, let's see. Got a good hand. Go for double blade into a trap. Yeah, triple buff. Wouldn't be terrible. I'd really prefer it if I could triple buff frog and just be able to use a regular uh regular minotaur. Of course not. Why why would you ever expect things to be so easy? Uh, okay, so I'm a double buff into a wand hit and see where that leaves me at. This guy's fire. So, it's going to be wasted on him. Actually, I might as well just keep going. If I get lucky enough, I might be able to blade myself, hit, and then, yeah, blade myself, hit with zero debuffs. So that re completely requires none of these crocs giving me any debuffs. And my pet has not healed me once. Still. Alright. Well, if that's going to be the case... 1600 health is actually quite low compared to the last guy, so... I think the other guy had like 2000 or 2200, so... Yeah, it should be... Should be enough. What is that? Elemental shield? Nope, oh, blade. Alright, and we just go st start throwing out everything. Got enough for another frog into a minotaur if I get uh, one more power pit. Oh yeah, that's right. Boost on balance. I forgot about that. That's a thousand gone. 
600 or should be yeah less than 600 yeah he's dead no no reason to pull out the frog Artes. Thank you so much. He was just about to take me to the Big Island so I would become like those who are charmed slaves. Oh, is that right? Spellcaster, you are the only one who can defeat Ngozi the Big Island and free the Mandra race from being charmed. Please, save us from such a fate. Just in case you needed to know who the bad guy was, we're going to bring up his name again. Uh, Rahe. My brothers have been captured. They're being held hostage by Warden Dabasi. We must defeat the Warden and free everybody. How are these the same brothers that I just freed or what? Well, at least this place had health. A little bit of mana. Never hurt nobody. Yeah, it's just... Did that that reminds me of General Achilles. They just had the students locked up in a room. No furniture, no setting, nothing. And they this is the weird part is they reuse these assets, but they don't take out the scaffolding, which was put there by the Marlebonians to do something. Halt! None shall pass. No one but Croc royalty is allowed beyond this point, especially not any wizard peasants. Rude. All right, let's see. I think triple buff into a frog. Probably going to get debuffed at some point, so I've got a wand hit, but then also there's a chance for a shield, so I'll interrupt that whenever it comes. Oh, cool. Pulled all four of my buffs. Let's go. Uh, we got both of those. I'll throw it a zero pip. Catch that first. Oh, yes. Use life and death spells on me. I have the most resist to those. Ooh, speaking of, I'm almost level 40. I might be able to do the rooftop soon. Oh, yeah. That might... I'm, I might have to let make... Eh. I might have to make Dragon Spire wait for the rooftops, because I definitely want to farm that. Man, so many things to do. Oh, you know what? I think... I can make this the episode where I do Kembalung and then maybe even going into the rooftops. No, if anything, I'd want to do maybe rooftops tomorrow because rooftops, whew, that one's going to be a hard one. Like the whole Buckingham Palace. Or Barkingham Palace. Even though the Queen is passed, we'll get to see a little homage to her. That happened fairly recently, didn't it? Probably less than a month ago. If not, just... Just over. Yeah, that's not a bad idea. I'll do Kemba Lung on this one. Since I've still got time and I technically... I've had access to it for almost 15 levels. And then... Then what? Probably just round out the rest of the farming. Maybe try and snipe some sandstone or something. Hmm. 
Minotaur, I choose you. Dude, that better be a shield. Ah, sucks to be you. I used my shield breaker. Bit ba ba bit ba boom pow. You're dead. Uh, definitely want at least two health orbs. Or wisps, whatever they're called. Yoink. Uh, just under max health. That's fine. Alright, uh, Nongozi, the big guy. Oh, it's not even here. You just wasted that. What do you want? In order to prevent this evil from happening again, you must take out Ngozi. Please, make your way to the top of his lair and defeat him. Yeah, yeah, it's great. Get, get out of my face. Oh, it's, it's gonna be several fights, huh? That's the case. Throw this down. Um, throw in some undead, since I have those. Oh, no, 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 no. Didn't make it. It's like, why would you pull me from that far away? Hopefully I can pull both my pet blade and regular blade, which I already got my regular blade in hand. Just need to pull the pet blade, throw that out, and just frog. I think, oh, nice. Here is this. Double blade. Maybe I should go for it. No, I already used one. Should have just gone for the blades rather than the mass trap. Then I'll hit next round. See how, how that leaves us. Fizzle. Oh no. You've taken like... 69 damage, let me heal you. Dude, I was joking. It's like, of all the fights that I could have used this in. And I'm just gonna take damage next round from, like, two different sources. Um. Yeah. Yeah. That's triple buffed. One of them gets a boost, so that's fine. He's attacking me, so I don't have to worry about debuff. At least from him. I don't think the other ones debuff, do they? I'm not going to look it up. These guys aren't really relevant. It's like, I might as well grab the Animus while I'm in the fight, and it is required to pass, but aside from that, kick rocks, dude. <sighs> nice. Oh, cool. I didn't even have to put that mark down. All right. These guys aren't worth too much strategy. One as the ice one, so I'll probably throw a wand hit if he shields. Let's see. Um, I'll go for a triple blade into a wand hit into a frog. That'll give me at least two more rounds to deal with Shield Guy. Mr. Shield Hero over there who's taking too long to throw up a shield. Bonk. I just gotta predict which one he's, he's gonna do. Oh, let's see. Do I get a power pip? I do not. So, 
I think I'll go for him just in case. And if anything, even if the balance guy gets shielded, I still have a good like 25 to 30 percent incoming boost or outgoing boost. So it'll be fine. And then here comes another debuff. Nope. All right. Oh, uh, that's going to be the shield, isn't it? Yep. How did I know that was probably going to happen that way? Ah, uh, just under. Oh, well, it's better to get the ice one dead. This guy... Yeah, one hit should suffice. Fizzle. I don't think there are any secret dungeons in Dragon Spire. Just stuff like this. Oh, uh, there was... Cat, uh, Kensington Park, but... I don't know if I want to do that. There's no real reason for me to do that. So, blade up and go for the kill. Easy. Of course. Why would I expect you to not debuff me? Ah, oh, it's alright. I think that was a pet blade I used. I hope it is, otherwise I just wasted around. Nice. So we'll go for triple blade, wand hit into a frog. So they're probably going to hit this round or next if they fizzle. The only thing I got to worry about is the balance one using another debuff. He's, I'm going to boost on him, so I'm going to hit this guy. Ooh. Sorry, I was just lost in thought. I was thinking about uh, th what was going to be my last delivery for the night. I got a food delivery from a uh, wannabe Italian place uh, that the customer ordered. I was like five minutes away from the restaurant. I drive there. The customer ordered two items. It was like a thing of like macaroni and cheese and a cheesecake. And that was it. He, only two items. And anybody who knows the restaurant industry, cheesecakes and stuff like that are always prepared in advance, especially for the dinner rush. Or they're actively being made, which even then, still be, still probably going to be immediately available. Uh, and then the macaroni and cheese probably wouldn't have taken so long. But when I got to the restaurant, they didn't have it made. Waited about 15 minutes. Couldn't, couldn't get anybody to give me an update. So I was like, you know what? Forget this, I'm going to text the customer and let them know just how little you value their, you know, the, the money they spent and the time they wasted on your guys' restaurant. So I texted my customer, I was like, hey, I uh, I want to let you know that this restaurant uh, has decided to prioritize its in-house deliveries rather than its uh, out outgoing, uh, what, what do you call them, outgoing delivery orders, you know, online orders. I hope they manage to make your food, but I'm going to have to, you know, unassign myself from your order. I was nice about it, but I could have absolutely told them that I don't, I'm not getting paid to stand around and wait, which in a, in a way I technically am, but not to that extreme. 
And then I was like, I hope they I hope they bother to make your food and I just left the restaurant. I I don't enjoy dealing with restaurants that are going to take a two take forever making a two item order. Like that's just unreasonable to me. Like how do you work how do, how do you present yourself to be a respectable professional restaurant and then you just actively choose, "Oh, well, we're not going to we're not going to make the food on time. We're going to call the driver super early and then we're going to have him sit around for 20 30 minutes." It's like, "Come on. The whole reason that a delivery driver sees an order come up on their phone screen is because the the restaurant has to actively uh acknowledge that, "Hey, this order is like close to being done. If it's not already done, we're requesting a driver uh, to get this sent to our, our customer. And it just doesn't make any sense to me why a restaurant would either automate that process and just not care or go out of their way to be like, oh, well, you know, we sent out for a driver, but the food's not ready yet. It's like, well, why did you send out for the driver in the first place? It's like you knew what you were doing. You're ruining somebody else's night just so that you guys can have that that income, that volume of customers and their, you know, whatever they choose to purchase from you guys. But you just absolutely choose not to. Uh, what, what do you call it? You just choose not to make the food like I, I don't understand why you would do that. It's just dumb. Restaurants are dumb. They do dumb stuff. And I understand it's not. The hostess foul fault. It's not the cook. Not almost. It's not the cook's fault. I'd say that they're slightly more responsible for it since they do make the food. They're just not uh, responsible for the decision. But then it's like the management's fault. Like, why would you? Why not just turn your tablet off for the night? If you guys are going to be more interested in serving your your like in-house customers, turn off your tablet. Like, they're allowed to do that. They're allowed to turn off their tablet and not, not pursue any orders through there. Seriously, I'd love to walk up to a restaurant and then be told, Hey, uh, sorry you came all this way. However, because we've got a lot of business, we're turning off our tablets. So I'd be like, all right, cool. I'll make one phone call, get paid like half pay or uh, two, three bucks and be on my way. You will bend my will, little wizard, for I am the great Ngozi. All the manders are mere puppets to do my bidding, as will you. Right. They got themselves captured a third time. Just want to point that out. All right, so they're all Storm. Wand hits may not be the best idea. It m might prove valuable to have at least one more frog. But yeah, I can't get these Karanin Harbingers. They're not monstrologable. So I think I'll just blade up. Oh, that's not cool. Uh, if that's going to be the case, I might... I'll have to see what I get next round. If I don't get a power pit, that will delay my plans. Or at least one subset of plans. Let's see. Uh, I didn't get a power pit, so... I think I'll wand hit the boss just to get rid of that. Oh, you know what? I should have... Should have waited for a shield. I didn't even notice he was ice. I thought he was storm. And that's what you get for uh, for not paying attention. Seventy five plus a thirty percent boost. I oh, okay. King's Island is going to show me the numbers. I barely even saw it. That was just like something six. It, this can go like one of two ways. I think I'm going to try and double frog one without a buff just to get rid of these guys and then 
go for a totally buff Minotaur. Oh, well, why why do these Storm guys have debuffs? There's no reason for that. And why is my pet not healing me? For jeez, for God's sake, you're the it's the only value that you have is giving me some resistance and then heal. Like the the nine percent damage boost does not matter at this point in time. Just heal like you're supposed to. I'm gonna have to flee and come back. Power pit? No, of course not. Because even though we give you a 47% chance... Oh, I'm uh, never mind. I'm, at, I'm finally at 50% chance. It's a 50-50 whether I get a pip or not, and they're going to screw me over for three goddamn rounds. That's not 50-50. It should be one after the other. Three rounds in a row is not 50%. That's like 0%. Actually, I got like two power pips. One of them was from a wand. So realistically, I only had one power pip. Yeah, that, that wasn't 50%. That was 1, 2, 3, 4. That was 25% chance. And so if you're going to screw me on the stats, at least at least make it, like, visibly comprehensible. There's no reason to, you know, put up some random 50% number that doesn't even mean anything. Just tell me I have 25% chance, then I'll consider the battle differently. And they wonder why people get upset when it's 99% chance and you fail pip every single, like, important round. Nine out of ten chance if you're if you're fail pipping every single battle within the first like five or ten five or six rounds, that's not ninety percent. King's Isle does not know how to do their math correctly. They just throw out whatever they got and hope for the best. Well, they don't even hope for the best. They just hope that the game works well enough for people to complain but not request refunds. And I don't even think they have their stuff, uh, what is it? You, you, like, there, there's no way for any individual to know what, what the rates are. Nobody has access to their source code for packs, for actual accuracy and stats and damage, stuff like that. Be cool if they completely revamped the damage system so that you could actually physically comprehend what was happening rather than hoping that you understand how much damage your spell initially does and then start doing the math on that. See, this is probably not going to do any more than 500. So I'll probably throw out a mass trap or something and use another frog. Did I use my pet blade already? I hope I didn't. Oh, nice. Well, if I did, that sucks. I don't even think Crocopatra has 2,700 health. That's just insane. Like, I get they wanted to make this a slightly harder dungeon, but... Kind of makes the entire world, world irrelevant if some boss like this just has a ton of health for no reason. Some random side dungeon boss that doesn't even matter. Like, 98% of the players in this game will never fight this guy. Okay, yeah, I did use my pet blade, so that sucks. But I mean, it was 
one of my best moves I could have made. I don't know that the uh, the 20% the trap would have actually killed them. I didn't even know that was going to kill them. I was expecting to have to use another frog. I might be able to kill him with what I have left. Never mind, I guess my other Minotaur is not showing up to work today. Could have swore I had two in there. Let me see. I gotta see if this guy shields. Wiki. Not the fandom. The fandom is useless and incomprehensible. Uh, he does technically shield, so... Yeet. Oh, that's so nice. They add a spell note, and they don't even bother to put the spell on there. I think the only thing this guy drops is... A pink dandelion, sparking steel of fame, and ring of refreshments, uh, ring. But even then, they're they're pretty much trash. Like it, anybody, nobody would use those unless they just had them. Uh, okay, so that didn't kill him. This should. There's no way a fifty percent would ruin my damage. Like, at least in this game, it was 50%, the pips. Like, half of all the white pips I got were white, and half, or half of all the pips that I got were white, half of them were power pips. All right, you losers, get out of here. Thank you so much for saving us. Yeah, yeah, whatever. You shouldn't have been out here in the first place. Ngozi was turning us Manders into evil slaves. Yeah, well, I mean, you guys did just kind of let it happen. Hopefully, your deeds will prevent future Manders from turning evil. Good. This should have been like one of the very, very first dungeons of the game. Doctor's uniform. That's a waste. Did I get experience from that? Yeah. Okay. So I'll definitely level up before Kemba Long. However, if I'm going to do that, I... Well, I don't know that I need... Potions at the moment. Hey there, guys. Godly Seafood here. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, if you liked, leave a like. If there's something you wanted to add to the conversation, maybe I'm... Uh, misstated something or if you want to see certain monsters versus bosses mashups uh let me know in the comments below and uh subscribe if you enjoy the content i'm going to be doing uh some wizard 101 content uh with the myth monstrology playthrough got some ideas for just a regular minecraft playthrough in the works just another game that i had on my computer uh, i'm going to be streaming 7 30 p.m mountain standard time to 10 p.m mountain standard time give or take uh you can find me out on twitch or youtube live uh, YouTube is just Godly Seafood, the channel. Uh, Twitch is twitch.tv forward slash Godly Seafood. Uh, and then check out some of the rest of the content on YouTube as well. I try to edit these just to make them a little bit more compact. Might end up doing some fancy stuff later on. But yeah, hope you enjoyed and uh, keep subscribing for more.